I left Afghanistan. I left my homeland as a refuge, as, as a refugee, as somebody who escaped. But uh, I want to go back as a hero. I want to go back as somebody who can, who bring a lot of things for the, for the, for the whole country, and uh, bring a lot of hope. I want to tell a lot of untold story, which happened in a century to Afghanistan, to the poor people. And they have a lot of things to say, but there is nobody to tell. And this is my dream to, to tell those stories and show the reality of Afghanistan, the reality of people in Afghanistan. When I was a kid, I had no idea about martial arts. Uh, but there, were, there was something in me which, you know, led me towards it. In grade one, I was in primary school, like we had uh, one hour sports in a week, and the yard we had, it was full of stone, and nobody could play anything on it. And I was with my friend, I said, you know, let's play, you know, uh, kicking, we call it kicking. Always I was looking for something. There is, there is something in me which I, 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 I tried to find it. I don't know what, what was it. And uh, my brother actually, he had a Bruce Lee's picture. When I looked at it, I said, yes, that's something. Which is very, it's a, I have a connection. And then after uh, maybe two years, maybe I was nine or 10, I found a, um, a martial arts academy close to my house, close to my, my village. And every night I go there and sit like this and watch them, every night. But my family wouldn't let me, uh, let me enroll my name over there, especially my father. He said, no, he, he, you better do a study, not, uh, not to do any kind of martial arts. I don't know why he was against it, but um, he said, in a country there is a war always and, and uh, you don't have any, any future in martial arts. It's been a few weeks now. I'm, I'm kind of living out of my suitcase. I'm like traveling from one city to another city, from another one to another one. And it's kind of reminding me I've become refugee again. You know, it's no home. I don't have any home. I don't have any destination. Like I'm keep traveling, traveling, traveling. But in next a few days, I'm going to Hollywood. Next probably a couple of days. And, and hopefully that will be my home. I'm really hoping to do something big in Hollywood and create my the image I had from you know from the childhood, you know, and which that image grow and grow grow in me for in, in many years. And now is the time for me to to make that dream to to the reality. Martial arts is a is a different language. Like um, when I do choreography, for example, if someone he, he he does Muay Thai or you know, kickboxing, and it's a very different to what I do, which is Shaolin, Shaolin Kung Fu. But uh, you have to find a similarity. You have to find some way which you could meet each other. Fifty percent of the the technique you doing it, and fifty I, I do. When I punch somebody, my reaction, my my punch is a fifty percent of the the world and the other 50 is his reaction if he's good enough he can make a beautiful reaction and then makes it that scene beautifully and very powerful otherwise whatever I do if it doesn't make that reaction and doesn't work this is a different chapter in my life and a new chapter in my life I want to bring reality to martial arts movies and very simple kicks and simple punch which everybody could understand it and everybody could believe it, like in the time of Bruce Lee. I remember that day, that was Wednesday, 
Wednesday morning. And, and everybody, when I, uh, when I was on the boat, I could see everybody. They had so much fear, I could, I could see in their eyes. And two nights later, we had, we had a big uh, storm. It was the biggest storm. I was sleeping and my friend, he woke me up. When I got up, I saw, because we were a small boat, a small fishing boat and 147 people on it. I saw everybody's crying. Everybody is, you know, praying, and they praying loud. I, st I stood up, and I'm looking everywhere around me. And for, for, for a moment, I couldn't hear anything. It was like everything mute, and I was just, people, you know, running around, you know, grabbing each other, you know, and holding each other, you know, yeah. hugging and crying and asking for forgiveness. And, but I couldn't hear anything. It was quiet and mute. And for a moment, I, I thought, is that really the end of my life? Is it really everybody's going to drown? Is it really this is my destiny? One night I was thinking, I said, this is my life. And whatever is going, I'm, I'm losing it. But I go up in, with, with difficulties. And I have to use this moment in the best possible way. And uh, only thing which helped me and make me keep going, which made me stronger for my future, was hope. It's interesting because when, when somebody do a new thing in his life, some, something interesting, sometime, uh, something you know, um, very different, the first thing he tells his family, and everybody knows about him, and they, they wish him luck and, and happiness and, and, uh, and all the best for his, uh, what he want to do. But the thing is, my family doesn't know I'm going to America. They don't know I'm going to you know, be in, in Hollywood or movie industry. They have no idea. It's something... Um, very alien for them. I'll be in Hollywood, I'll be in a movie. And this is a different life which I choose, which is very different to them. In Afghanistan, 
the most important part of everybody's life is family. But the situation, the circumstances in my country, or to be honest, the reality of my our life forced us to be apart from each other. We were a big family, big happy family living together. But now we're apart. Afghanistan, Iran, Australia. And this is kind of is my dream. How and when all my family they become one, they become reunion together. And we could live at least even for a short time, we live together. And that will be my peace and happiness.